Hello, hello, and welcome to Earth Rose Tarot. How are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a bonus love reading for my wonderful Sagittarius's. This is for Saggy and Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. It's just a, a thank you reading because Saggy, you've been really amazing uh, with your support for the channel recently. So I wanted to do a bonus for you guys. Say thank you. Uh, this is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with every Sagittarius out there but I do hope that it resonates for you and you find it useful or at least enjoyable. And I would say take what does resonate and leave what doesn't for somebody else. And this is a timeless reading, so it's for whenever you come across it. So this is for my Sagittarius's in love, please. As ever, Saggy, I'm gonna get some starting messages for you first, and then we'll go into a spread and get some more information for you on the person you have on your mind whilst watching this reading. So. And get some messages for Sagittarius, please. Saggy in love. What is the energy around Sagittarius at this time regarding love? What do we need to know? Mm, interesting, the High Priestess. So there could be some mystery uh, for you, Sagittarius, regarding your love life. Mm, Nine of Swords. So in fact, if there is some mystery, then it could be actually causing you some concern. It could be maybe you feel like you don't know the whole story about something and it's really worrying you um, but it could also be needing to make some sort of decision and um, you need to trust your gut on about making it or someone does here but um, some anxiety some worry um, some like negative thinking so is kind of holding you back or is making you think negatively about making taking some sort of risk so let's see what else for Sagittarius please Sagittarius in love. What do we need to know? Sagittarius, please. Okay. Oh, we've got the Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles at the same time. So that's Earth Energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, but that is, uh, it's going to be an opportunity for a new beginning, which is regarding some something to do with your stability. So it could be a new commitment. Um, as we're talking about love here, but there could also be something like a new job offer potentially um, that you you might have at this time or a new, uh, maybe moving to a new home or something to do with your stability. There's a, a new beginning being offered. Yeah, I see a lot of thinking about, maybe it's about this offer that has got you up in your head about making some sort of decision. Okay, but let's get back to your love life. One more, okay, one more for Sagittarius, please. One more for Saggy. There we go. Ten of Wands. Okay, so you could feel um, like you have a lot on your plate at the moment, Sagittarius, that like you've got a lot that you're trying to deal with, but it also could be that you are wondering about make, taking some new opportunity, um, and but by doing so, you kind of feel like you would have to let go of something else. Maybe something that you've been trying to make work or that you've been um, like putting a lot of effort into for a long time and you feel like maybe uh, hasn't brought you the results or led you to the place you wanted it to. So, um, but there might be something you have to kind of let go of trying to make something work and almost out of that ending, uh, there is a new, um, a very fruitful new beginning for you. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, the bottom of the deck, we've got the Three of Pentacles, which does talk about kind of partnership and um, collaboration, uh, compromise, uh, cooperation. It's it's working with someone else. Now, this could also be that um, there might be external to your love life. There might be friends or colleagues or someone who almost, I get a sense of wanting to take you places. Like they want to um, mentor you or to give you advice to kind of, uh, expand your abilities in some way um for to open up new roads for you in the future it's almost like there is an opportunity here someone wants to work with you but i get also the sense to teach you valuable skills uh, or to open up some new opportunity where you might have to like, apprentice or something with this this other person um but it would set you on an amazing path uh but i mean in terms of love let's just say as well then it could be a new opportunity because there's someone here who really wants to build with you and who's really on board with, um, they're very cooperative, they're very, you know, uh, about making something work, building something with you. 
Um, but there is hesitation here I'm getting uh, from, it could be from you, or could, this could also all be flipped as well. So uh, let's get some clarification. Why is the High Priestess here for Sagittarius, please? Why is the High Priestess here? Whoa, okay. We've got the tower that fell out. Mm -hmm. Wow, and the Magician at the bottom of the deck. That is very interesting because in fact, the High Priestess and the Magician, they're their own counterparts. So the High Priestess is a divine feminine energy. The Magician is a divine masculine energy. Um, but in fact, in this deck, they're both depicting women. So if you are um, a woman yourself, you could be someone who is actually balancing their masculine and feminine energies at this time. And that's very powerful. I mean, this is all major arcana here. This is High Priestess with the Magician. I'm not ignoring the tower. I'll get to it in a sec. But that is someone who's um, is very well balanced in terms of listening to their um, intuition, into the tapping into the, their soul's um, knowledge, uh, their their deep wisdom, their into yeah, um, kind of empathic understanding of things. But at the same time, taking action and making things are creating their own reality. As a result, um, there is someone here who's not because the high priestess alone can just be too much thinking and not enough doing essentially and the magician can be too much trying to do something without actually thinking fully and contemplating things so but in the middle of all of that is the tower so i kind of get this energy of um combustion uh, is is what it's making me feel of like these two perfectly balanced uh elements of the magician and the high priestess coming together and creating um, great change. Now the tower obviously can sometimes be a little bit, um, it can make you feel like you've lost your solid footing. Um, it can be very unsettling, but there is, um, could be sudden change coming in or um, maybe some sort of new opportunity that you, as I said, I would get in the sense of like taking a, a leaping, take a leap into something, like taking a risk. Um, but and that you may feel like it's a risk, but it's um, it's almost something that comes out of the blue and you're trying to balance whether you should just leap and jump on this opportunity or if you should hold back. Now, that could be um, I still get the sense this could be something in your life that is out external to your love life, but love is um, affecting how you're thinking about it. Or it could be the opportunity. Maybe I mean, if we're talking about love here. It could be someone wanting to commit or maybe wanting you to move in with them or they're moving and they want you to move with them something like that um and it's it's going to be a bit of an upheaval and uh yeah i also think you're worried with this tower that it will um rock your uh everything your stability too much um let's see give me one more on that tower please there's a, also an element that maybe you feel like you don't know the full details, like you're jumping into the unknown. Um, it's Again, I'm getting this, this message of shrouded in mystery. Maybe this opportunity, you feel like you don't know the, the full details. Wow, the Knight of Cups. Oh, and the Four of Wands. Okay, Saji. I mean, this is telling me that um, someone has fallen in love with somebody else. They have uh, Their feelings have just got deeper and deeper they might not necessarily have expressed it before potentially because well there could be a whole whole load of reasons depending on your circumstances um but we do have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck so it could be that someone didn't express their feelings before because they were married or they were in a long-term commitment and maybe they kept their feelings to themselves kept them secret um but and it, the shocking thing here could be that someone actually comes out and expresses their feelings um, and wants a new beginning with you, Saji, or this is how you're what you're considering doing to, with someone else. Um, but to do that, it would mean letting go of, of something. So let's get some more. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Sagittarius, please? Why the Nine of Swords? <laughs> the Queen of Cups. More water energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, but we've got two queens on the deck here as well. 
uh, on the on the table here, and we've got the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. So I I did feel like this was about a, a decision when I think I said when the nine of swords came out after the high priestess. This is someone has a difficult decision on their hands, and there is that that someone feels like they're um, maybe caught between a rock and a hard place because whatever decision they make, uh, they lose out in some way. So for example, if um, they don't move towards the person that they do have a lot of feelings for, then they they lose that person. But if they do move towards them, then they have to go through a tower of and everything that they have been staying in or trying to make something work, um, they have to go through the, the ending of that, which could be very chaotic and they or it might not even i mean even getting the message that it might not actually be that bad but it's just the idea of it is built up in this, someone's head as it would be like a disastrous um or extremely stressful and, and maybe they feel like they aren't strong enough to deal with it um but the reason all of this is being brought to the um, forefront here is because there is a lot of emotion um someone could even feel a little bit emotionally unstable at this time and I don't mean like in a um in a jokey way I mean that like they they might even be aware of it themselves like they feel like they're all over the place with their feelings like they're having mood swings that one minute they're really up the next minute they're really down is kind of what I'm getting so tell me about the queen of pentacles with the ace of pentacles please it could be also that yeah all right let me just get some clarification before I say that why is this here? The Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands <laughs> and the Three of Wands, which funnily enough, you add them together, adds up to the Ten of Wands, which is already out um, on the table. So <laughs> the seven, this is like, there is um, a struggle here to um, get through, to have some sort of this new beginning. It could have been something uh, with someone's been trying to break through for some time and they may have felt like there were delays. There were always there was always some sort of blockage to this happening. Um, it's maybe I mean, this if this is you, Sagittarius, maybe you've wanted a new beginning with someone for some time, a committed new beginning, but it's felt almost like an impossible task like for every time you feel like you're getting through to this person or um then you're actually you've got an even longer road ahead of you it's I, I get a sense of a very long journey here um now there could actually be an issue with distance for some of you this person might be living at a distance was, um and there's there's obstacles in front of you to overcome now i did say that it could be something to do with someone moving um and that could be the obstacle in the way here so let me get one more on the seven of wands please why the seven of wands for Sagittarius <laughs> the two of cups mm, yeah so someone has felt here like there was a very strong connection with someone that they didn't want to let go of that they kept persevering because they felt the strength of that connection um but at the bottom of the deck were the five of pentacles so it's that struggle it's feeling um almost like feeling like something has been impossible or like you've been someone's been pushing you away maybe they've been too focused on other you felt like they've been very focused maybe even on their work or fo literally focusing on anything else rather than um Kind of paying attention to the connection maybe you felt like they were almost distracting themselves and pushing you away as i said reverse it if it's the other way around um two people who are very similar here is what i'm getting you might feel very similar to the person that you're thinking of sagittarius like the two of you maybe have um your own you know everyone's got everyone's got positive aspects about them everyone's got some flaws or things that they struggle with um not flaws but you know what i mean like areas that they want to improve you could feel like the two of you both have very similar areas that you want to improve if that makes sense why is the ten of wands here for sagittarius please 
yeah, the Hermit, Virgo energy. With the sun at the bottom of the deck now, so there's a sense here of kind of withdrawing or someone has been withdrawn and maybe that has also felt like you need to like actually give up on something because maybe someone has felt you know, like they've been pushed away by the other person, by the other person just prefers to um, spend a lot of time alone or they're all about, I mean, this sun energy is, is beautiful and it is a card of illumination. So it could be talking about the fact that someone is coming out of this hermit mode now um, with this opportunity, but they, if they do, you know, they to have seize this new opportunity, it's almost like, uh, <laughs> It's not quite the right analogy, but I just thought of Groundhog Day, you know, the film where they're waiting to see if the groundhog comes out and sees his shadow or something. But I just, it's almost like you're waiting to see if this person is actually going to come out of their cave. And then, you know, there is positive, there's, there's a sense of positivity and then there's an opportunity for a new beginning. I, I do still get the sense that it's very stressful that someone is... Maybe you feel like you're being kept in the dark because this person is living such a a solo or um, such an independent life. You, But it's almost like you wonder if they are spending all this time alone or if there are things you don't know. And as a result, you could be wondering, you could be very worried about um, taking some sort of risk on their new beginning. It's almost like you might wonder what they... Um, what they really have going on when they, you know, that they are just pushing you away and telling you they're work, you know, they're doing their own thing. They're, um, they've got, yeah. So, I mean, the sun energy is is very positive, as I was just describing the kind of sense of uh, optimism and happiness. But I also get the sense and that it's it always gives me with this deck a sense of someone who is a little bit about them and um that they very much walk alone that they when they have success they um, stand alone and they bask in that success but it's um, a very lonely success in that they don't necessarily um it's not a sense of you know bringing others with them it's that they um they go through quiet times on their own they go through success times on their own that's what i just keep hearing and that could have be making you feel about giving up now if this is you have another opportunity with someone new you could be resistant to it because you're still feeling the connection with that person who's um who's just made you feel almost like you should give up because they walk alone kind of thing um but let's go into your spread and we'll see what else comes up so we can start with this one so for my Sagittarius, please, can I get the spread of the top six cards? Actually, I'm going to change it up slightly and ask a couple more questions that I normally do. Okay, can I get the top eight cards, please, for Sagittarius? How does Sagi feel about their person? How does their person feel about Sagittarius? How does their person see Sagittarius? What is their person's current situation that Sagittarius needs to know? What does their person wish would happen between them and Sagittarius? What is the block or challenge to this connection? What action is this person most likely going to take towards Sagittarius next? And what's going to happen between Sagittarius and this person going forward? So top eight cards, please. As it's a bonus reading, let's do a couple of extra questions for you. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, that's a contrast. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Ace of Pentacles again. Wow. Knight of Cups again. Two of Cups again. There's three of the same cards from the first deck and there weren't that many cards out. Uh, what do they want to happen? The tower again. What's the challenge? Interesting. Action. Okay. We've got two aces on this spread already on the first layer. So at the bottom of the deck, Saji, we've got the nine of cups, page of wands, and the eight of pentacles. Wow, it's a lovely combination, to be honest. 
Um, and it could be a message coming in here, Sagittarius, or some sort of communication that um, feels very comforting, feels like a relief. And um, it's like a happy message. It's um, good spirited. It maybe is um, almost could be someone uh, sort of uh, what's the word congratulating you um, for like something to do with your work or something you've achieved um something yeah that you've been putting a lot of something you're passionate about uh it's someone almost like getting the message of someone recognizing um the hard work you've been doing recently that could be in any area of your life and um getting in touch to sort of say well done wow that's so amazing sort of and there's a sense of um being able to bask in your success and kind of relax and rest after a lot of hard work but um i've got to be honest with this combination as well it could be someone who uh gets in touch after they've had a few drinks uh or something to do with that when the you know there could be a bit of an influence of drink when they send this message um or it could be that there is a flirtation element here with someone that you're working with um i get that as well there's a lot of layers here to this combination which um yeah it's but whatever it is it's a very it's a sense of um a very welcome message and uh, now yeah yeah i think it's going to feel really good to be honest i think you're going to feel like appreciated you're going to have good emotions coming up when this message comes through um it could be um you could feel slightly standoffish to this person for whatever reason um but I think you're going to be generally pleased and it's going to, if it's not someone that you work with, um, I think this could, and it's not obviously them congratulating you on something you've been working on. I think it could also just make you feel good because it's a sign to you that they, um, they actually want to put some work into this relationship with you. Maybe you feel like you've been doing all the work and this is a welcome, welcome message that comes in. Um, it may feel like they are, almost starting something up with you again or you know there's a, a a new patch here of um them putting some effort in at the bottom of the deck we have the ten of pentacles the queen of wands that's your energy sagittarius and the temperance card and and yeah the ace of wands mm -hmm. Not, very nice so yeah i mean i was just saying that you're going to be um enjoying like the successes from your hard work and then we've got the ten of pentacles here and it's only just slightly further under is the nine of pentacles so i definitely feel like you're being recognized as really um like a go-getter like as someone who's achieving success um i do kind of get this there's a slight um energy here that you may feel like uh maybe not this love interest or it could just be people around you are um showing you let's just say like more affection or more friendliness as you've become more successful maybe something's going well in your career or you're earning more money you're looking really good and you suddenly feel like oh now you want to now you want to spend time with me now you're acting like my friend it could there could be a concern that there's a little bit of um fakeness about maybe people around you or that or almost like that you feel yeah you know what i'm saying that you might feel like um you know, a little bit cynical, you know, I, I'm, we all get cynical sometimes, so that's not a criticism, but just of why they're showing you this attention. And there's a need to kind of balance the natural, you know, questions that yes, have a healthy objective kind of questioning of people's motives, but don't get to the point of cynicism so that you can't actually just enjoy, you know, good times, their company, that kind of thing. So there's a need here for balancing. Um, I do feel like also you may have been very patient about a new beginning actually happening with someone. And so there could be the opportunity here for something wonderful with the Ten of Pentacles. But with this combination of this Queen of Wands um, and the Temperance energy, it's telling me that because you may have felt like you have been kept waiting or that um, 
you have wanted to move things forward quicker than they have. And as a result, you may have started to have felt a bit um, put out or a bit like you've been disrespected. But just be there's also an element here of um, caution to um, because to me, this Queen of Wands and that's nothing against fire signs. It's just the energy of this card uh, exhibits quite a bit of ego as well. And almost I mean, if you look at her, she's got a bit of a sour look on her face and acting like a bit of a, it almost it always reminds me of like a grown woman. It's a woman on the card and it's obviously it's a queen. It's a grown woman who's dressed up like a little bit of a, a child playing princess. And it's almost like, you know, uh, we're getting into a bit of that kind of we all have an ego and sometimes it can come out in um, not the, you know, the best way. And it's a need to balance the ego with, you know, the higher um, subconscious levels of our ourselves, our higher self, if you like, let's just call it that. So there's need here to balance. If someone is coming towards you or there's communication, and I said when I looked at this nine of cups that you may feel a bit standoffish to them. And I said, obviously, I'm not sure why, but it's going to, differ for all of you but it could be that you felt like this person has kept you waiting too long and there's a need here to just balance that and just be careful that your ego isn't um overriding maybe uh your feelings here or your compassion so yeah just to maybe to check check the ego a bit we all have to do it sometimes so let me uh what do i want let's get a classic rider weight i think the next so and clarify for Saji, please. Clarify the spread with the top eight cards for the deck for me, please. And if you could kindly hit the like button for me, Saji, that would be amazing. I really appreciate it. And thank you again for all your support to the channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please do, if you want to hear more from me. So we get the top eight cards for Sagittarius, please. Power again, this is the third time we've seen it now. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, okay, let's see what's going on. So we've got the night, uh, sorry, the moon at the bottom of this text because I was looking at the nine of swords, which we saw at the beginning as well. So we've got the moon, the three of swords, and the three of cups. Mm hmm, mm hmm, two of swords, yep, yeah, hermit. So um lots of pisces energy here i have to say saji you don't have to be dealing with a pisces maybe someone's got some of that in their chart so i see there's um well there's a lot of pain and confusion and uh fear here as well uh, a fear of not knowing what is truly going on maybe you might feel like this person has put you in a third party situation in the past or that they um, are juggling between you and somebody else. I know it's not the Two of Pentacles, it's the Two of Swords, but combined with these other cards, it kind of makes me feel like someone couldn't make a decision between um, two party, two people. Um, that could have been the cause of ongoing pain. It could be that someone put you in, for example, Sagittarius in, like, could have kept you as a friend even knowing that it, you had feelings for them or that there, there was there was heartache going on here from this situation and it could be because this person wasn't completely open and honest or you feel like they haven't been completely open and honest with you maybe they haven't been completely honest about their third party situation um but whatever it is you felt like this situation was blocked to you um that you you weren't you didn't feel like you were seeing the full story and you felt like there was someone else or something else going on and it's caused a lot of pain i feel like you may have withdrawn into yourself as a result and um because you everything was sh shrouded in mystery and very stressful as a result so at the bottom of the deck we have the empress the ace of wands wow uh the death card oh my gosh well there is certainly, as I said from the beginning, a new beginning, an opportunity 
for a new beginning presenting itself to you, Sagittarius. And there is, um, there is an opportunity here for somebody to take action and for a lot of um, expansion and growth to happen as a result. I mean, with the Empress here, this is an energy of um, fertility. Yes, I mean, this can be a combination maybe which talks about someone becoming pregnant. It's not going to be for everyone, um, which could change everything. <laughs> um, but it could also be, I mean, she just, the Empress just talks about abundance and things flourishing. Um, you know, she, obviously she is uh, the mother of the tarot. She does um, give, create life, or, you know, with the help of her counterpart but she grows that life within her and she is you know she makes the crops grow and you know she brings bounty essentially and beauty and love so the ace of wands is also that energy of creation and it's a new beginning and we have the death card right next to it which is uh yes it's an ending but it's a transformation so it's an ending of one way it's a beginning of another way and next to it, un underneath, we have the fool. So there is an, uh, a whole new beginning here. Yeah, yeah. There's something, letting something go, beginning something new. And there is so much potential here for this new beginning to absolutely flourish. And But I feel like it, this is all if someone can let go of something. Now, whether that is someone on the other side, Sagittarius, who needs to let go because they have been now that could even be letting go of a lifestyle but you've wondered if there was something else going on that you didn't know about or it could be letting go of another person and moving towards you but either way or it could be talking about the fact that you are letting go of this person who's called you caused you nothing but confusion and heartache and left you very felt feeling very lonely and there is an incredible new beginning that is about to um, be birthed for you in your life so let's get the third layer so can I clarify the spread for Sagittarius one more time please with the top eight cards so for Sagittarius please with the top eight cards That's very interesting. You see, I'm using the uh, a second rider weight for the third layer. And I don't know if you can see on the camera, in this position is what this person wishes would happen between the two of you. We've got the seven of pentacles. In this position is what is the block or challenge between the two of you. And we've got the seven of pentacles. I mean, this is why I like using um, the same deck sometimes so you can see for duplicates very clearly. But it's interesting because those two positions are, are quite, it's like a, you wouldn't think you get exactly the same card in both. So we'll come back to that. Okay. I'm going to go through the spread. Interesting. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the star. We've got the moon. Now we've got the star. Ten of cups and the eight of swords. And there's the moon again. Wow, Sagittarius. Um, so. Oh, there is so much... This is really talking about kind of uh, what is not being seen, like what is not completely known. I really feel like that's holding somebody back, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with. It's the fear of the unknown is holding someone back from so much happiness and wish fulfillment and like the um, like a, a destined happiness here of someone, maybe that someone was it's their happy, happy ever after to be with that person. 
but it's the someone is getting up in their head and they're not doing anything or not taking an opportunity because of what could go wrong um this is someone like th like this negative thinking that was getting from the very beginning about the unknown uh this is like uh, you know, there's a, a word catastrophizing, which basically means that your brain tells you that the worst possible things you could possibly imagine, that's what's going to happen. I mean, it might not be that severe. That's kind of like an anxious anxiety trait as well uh, that some people suffer from. But um, so I completely sympathize if that is the case. But I mean, it could be a minor, ver like a, a, a lesser version of that. But someone is getting up in their head and they're thinking of all the things that could go wrong. And so they're not taking, so what I can see, they're, like, they're not seeing, let's just say, not t uh, they're not seeing how beautiful, how happy this could be. Um, someone needs to take a more optimistic approach. And if this is your, your person, actually, you can be like, amen. And if it's you, then obviously you can listen to this if you want to. And it's completely up to you what you do. But it's someone <laughs> needs to think more optimistically about a situation and the possibilities that are here. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Strength card, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Interesting. And it is interesting because these two knights are pointing in different directions. Now, it could be that... Um, it could be that you have two people that you need to choose between, Saji, and one of them, you've maybe you're concerned that they are inconsistent, that they are um, just more interested in the passion, that they are unreliable, that they, they involve other parties, you know, not someone who necessarily wants to settle down, and um, they come and go when they please. And then someone you may feel like um, is genuinely offering um, their love and affection, and you might feel like you are torn or you're struggling. You might feel like you don't have the, I think I said this at the beginning, someone doesn't feel like they have the strength to make a decision or um, the strength to kind of deal with their decision and the, the, the fallout that might happen as a result of their decision, if you like. Now, if it's not about two people for you, Saji, then I would say that there is, you may have emotion for someone, you may have grown, like you may have fallen in love with someone, you may have feelings that have grown for them, but you feel like it's in, it's, you're at loggerheads because this person is everything I've just described about more interested in, um, in passion and in, you know, going for what they want impulsively and not being tied down. And you may feel like they are also ignoring your... Because if if they were like this, and they could have come out like that, it would be a different story. But the fact is, you almost feel like... It's almost like this this Knight of Wands, who could be your person, Saji, has um, been coming towards you, seen you holding like offering your love and emotion and just flown straight by you because they're like no not about that I'm all about the passion I'll catch you later kind of thing it's almost like so you might feel like your um your love and affection has been completely disregarded and this person is just about having a good time um this strength energy is telling me that it could you could wonder whether you're a you're strong enough to make some sort of decision but also b whether you can kind of calm tame a beast maybe tame this person uh tame their wild ways or something like that so let's go through the spread and i'll get some more clarification from another deck if we need it so uh, how you feel about them sagittarius well we've got the devil the five of wands and the three of swords so not not great <laughs> how you feel about this person um you may feel like they, well, this is Capricorn energy, I should mention with the devil, um, but you might feel like this is uh, has become a toxic connection between the two of you. You may feel like the two of you are butting heads about what you want or that the two of you are not on the same page. Um, you may also feel like this person could be quite controlling, like they're almost trying to keep you... Um, it's almost like they, you might feel like they've pigeonholed you into 
a certain part of their life and you it's that they won't look at you from a different angle um that you you know for example if they've put you into the box of your uh, friends of benefits person in their life you might feel like you want them to take another look and consider you more as long-term commitment potential um apart from that you may just feel like this person kind of puts limitations on themselves and doesn't you know has maybe issues even stemming from childhood maybe something from their parents relationship that that you feel is still hampering them and their ability to have a romantic relationship now as an adult like for example if they had always seen their parents fighting or um they viewed their parents relationships as very toxic then as an adult now they're like oh no i don't want i don't want to get married because of the marriage that they viewed when they were growing up for example you might yeah that, that might be your feeling about it but otherwise it's also it's just a, a sense that the two of you when you try to make something work you end up fighting it ends up with heartache you feel like you know you're there's also a, a getting a sense of like the situation might break down into into kind of pettiness or um you know almost like you might feel like it brings out the worst in each, you bring out the worst in each other um and that suddenly you end up being against each other rather than trying to be on the same page um now if some of you are thinking about making a decision between two people and maybe one of the, it involves it would involve letting go of something long term this could even be how you feel about the long term person and that's what's making you think about having some sort of new beginning but you don't necessarily feel like you can nest, you can um go through all the chaos of kind of allowing the tower to fall if you like but yeah whoever this is about and it'll be different for each of you but I, you just feel like it hurts you this situation and it's it's non-stop arguing it's uh it's like yeah it's like the two of you are trapped in a toxic cycle um yeah so how else will they feel about you whoever this is Saji we've got the two of cups the four of pentacles and the judgment card so um the I mean the strongest message here is is that I, it's almost like they feel like they have screwed things up with you they want a second chance they don't want to let you go they are fearful of losing you they feel like you are their family even if you don't actually have a family with this person they feel like they're at home when they're with you they feel like you are their um kindred soulmate that they feel comforted when they're with you they feel a lot of love for you um but they yeah they it's almost that like they they're scared that they're going to lose you um And they feel like maybe things have reached some sort of breaking point where um, they think the cards are really going to be laid on the table, no pun intended, and they're feeling quite um, defensive is kind of what I'm getting as well with this Four of Pentacles. But be defensive because they know that judgment day is basically here and all of a sudden that it's like they're not ready to be judged they it's, it's like it's like someone who pissed around instead of revising for a test for example and then all of a sudden the day of the test is there and this person is like it it can even be quite hostile or or um their energy is very scattered because suddenly well, you're about to get tested and whether you want to pass the test or not is because is irrelevant at this point because you could want a lot of things but did you do the work in a, like kind of is what i'm getting from them um but let's see how do they see you sagittarius we've got the ace of pentacles the tower and the death card 
What a combination. I mean, this is, obviously we saw two of these cards at the beginning. So they see you as, maybe they even see you being offered a new beginning elsewhere. Because with this tower energy here, this is like, uh, everything is suddenly coming crumbling down when it comes to maybe your connection. Um, and th this is like a, a shocking situation that is happening to this person. Um, maybe you feel like this is overdue in some way because you feel like this is, this is unhealthy connection. This is causing nothing but misery effectively from these cards, but it's kind of like an angsty misery. It's like someone who's, you know, always arguing or, and it's just, too much unlike it's not just unhappiness or regret it's like this is not healthy at this point and they're seeing you as having an opportunity for a new beginning it could be that you're the one thinking about moving but that is going to suddenly completely throw everything that you guys have built but in a very unstable way was built um completely break that apart um now the thing is, I always get the message here of a sweet release for you with this new beginning, because you see how sweet um, this card is of the Ace of Pentacles. It's, I feel like this is going to be a sweet release for you, Sagittarius, what I keep hearing um, or getting from these cards. But for them, they like, it would mean their entire world crumbling around them. I don't think this person is completely self-aware if that is the case because the way you're feeling it's not a it's not a situation that either of you would want to stay in um I do want to clarify now the what I was going to say is you know I wondered if they they saw that you know could they that things were falling down around the two of you or the situation was falling apart very quickly but as I said, judgment day here, seriously. But they wondered if they could make you an offer that they could change things, that the two of you could have a new beginning, that you could have a a, um, a second chance. But they always feel like they, um, they're not offering you enough for that to happen um, is another aspect of it. But let me just get a little bit more. Why, why is this Ace of Pentacles here for Sagittarius in how their person sees them? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The Seven of Pentacles, again. And the Ace of Pentacles. Did you, you saw that, right? You got it on camera. The Ace of Pentacles came out to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. So, I mean, yeah, the world at the bottom of the deck. Jesus, Saji. So this person sees you as, this is like... Also, you, they're seeing you as wanting a new beginning elsewhere. Even if you're not being offered one, you're looking for one. Because this Seven of Pentacles is... Um, or even it could be that you they see that you're offering a new beginning to somebody else. Because I say that with this Seven of Pentacles, this is someone looking back over, you know, reflecting, looking back over what they've got. I almost get the sense that if the two of you have some sort of material stability situation together like maybe you live together or maybe you have you own property together or there's something there's you know even if you just own furniture together it's almost like they see you as reflecting on all of that and being like yep okay i do have a certain level of stability here but it's not enough i want a new beginning and the world is is a massive closure of one chapter and it's the beginning of another can't believe the Ace of Pentacles immediately came out to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. We'll have to keep that deck there. Right, let's move on. So what is their current situation that you need to know? We've got the Knight of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Cups. I feel like their current situation is that they, they feel guided to... Uh, this person feels guided to express their emotions, that they... Um, feel drawn maybe towards you to um, t tell you that they love you, to 
pour their heart out. I get the sense that it is a cycle that they've done this before and they're coming around to do it again. And <laughs> they may be well aware that um, you are going to reject them at this point, but they feel like they have to. They, this is almost like they feel guided to do so. The judgment card, we've got tower and death card and the wheel of fortune in so far I uh, just halfway through this spread when, when it comes to your person and this is all like major pushes from the universe I feel like this person feels very pushed to come towards you right now and express their feelings to you because they feel like they're about to lose you they feel like you're about to have a new beginning elsewhere um you know with that seven of pentacles i was talking about about it being you considering your stability with this person it could just be the fact that you've been waiting too long or they they see the fact that you are you know thinking about what you've invested time wise and or you know effort wise into this connection and not feeling like you you've got um you as i said i think at the beginning you've got out of it what you wanted from it so they see you as about to have a new beginning elsewhere it could be that maybe you've met someone else or they think that you've met someone else although i haven't really got that spying energy but there's something here where this person suddenly feels really pushed like the time is now to go towards you um so yeah it could also be that suddenly they have felt like where what they've been doing they're very disappointed um they are they, it's like someone suddenly being like, well, what am I doing? What I'm doing, what, how I feel, this is, this is crap. I don't, I want, like, I want to, I have to go towards Sagittarius and express my feelings for them. Like the feeling, the time is now. Um, but they also feel like you're going to, uh, be like, this is too little, too late. Is kind of what I'm getting. So now in this position, what does this person wish would happen between the two of you? In the connection <laughs> we've got the tower the three of wands and the seven of pentacles so the two cards here that talk about waiting especially in, in like right away terms this is uh, it's almost like what this person wants is that they're to like just give me a little bit more time they're but why i am um, why <laughs> sorry it's like they want to procrastinate a bit further or they are not ready um maybe they're waiting for something that they've been working on to pay off or they've been but the tower here is in terms of what they want to happen between the two of you um now this could be talking about someone who's been waiting for you to end a situation for some of you like actually um for some sort of maybe committed situation to finally come to an end in their in their eyes finally because they have been waiting so let's see why is the tower here and what this person wishes would happen in a connection with Sagittarius why is the tower here five of cups why the tower yeah ten of swords page of swords this is this is talking about someone who's been watching and waiting from a distance Sagittarius um for you to end something for you to end something which you you haven't actually even been happy in that situation that they have been watching you from a distance and they've been waiting hoping for their ships to come in yeah oh my gosh ace of cups Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups have now fallen out straight after the Ten of Swords. They now for some of you, I'm just going to say I strongly get the message that they have been waiting for you to end something so that the two of you can have a new beginning. And they are just wanting for you to go through that essentially not a tower moment in that they want you to go through a horrible time in your life, but they want you to just, you know, let something end, fall apart and so that you can go towards them so that and it's almost it's also with this ten of swords is someone who's avoiding ending something that they know they need to end that has caused them a lot of pain and they've been avoiding ending it so that would speak about that for others of you it's that this person wants 
you to kind of put some sort of tower moment between the two of you you know for the what they want is for the two of you to, to survive this tower moment for kind of to acknowledge that it's happened but then look towards the future consider everything the two of you have invested together you know to that because they don't want the ending with you to actually have happened and they are i feel like i'm reading for two people at the same time here around you sagittarius um that they yeah they don't want the ending they don't want to accept this is over they do have regrets and huge regrets if this if they were actually losing you and they want to have a second chance like a do-over they want to have a, a renewal of the connection with you in a new beginning oh right okay so uh what is the block or the challenge to the connection moving forward the ten of cups the seven of pentacles and the justice card so but i mean in terms of a block and a challenge it's a challenge is happiness here with the ten of cups this is um the ten of cups also talks about this kind of like dreamy optimism um and mm, like daydreaming you know everything you the hopes for the future and it's interesting because i was saying here at the bottom of this third deck we have the eight of swords the ten of cups and the star and i said the problem here is that someone is not thinking positively and they are not seeing what is possible in a situation which could bring a lot of happiness so i don't know this in terms of a, a challenge it's like because this justice card is giving me a very um <laughs> it's giving me a very objective firm a little bit almost cold energy of um someone is no longer thinking blindly about not blindly but sort of letting their um letting their hopes for you know the future letting their um, daydreams about the future they're no longer that's no longer their focus or that's no longer driving them uh, and it's more about that there is um someone feels like they've put a lot of effort into a situation or have been you know wait uh, that could be they've put a lot of time into a situation and they feel like whether it's waiting or you know investment of their their time and, and energy and they feel like it hasn't been a fair balance between them and the other person in terms of equal give and take into a relationship so it's almost like someone is no longer thinking so romantically and optimistically they're thinking more practically um I mean, this could also be about someone's investments into a situation though that the ch the block of the challenge here is that someone isn't actually imagining as I said, thinking about the happiness that could happen, they're thinking about how much money they've invested in the situation, how much of their money is tied up in a situation with someone else and um, the legalities may be involved. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles just tried to flip again. Um, this could be someone more focused on their stability or, you know, their, their sense of stability by the fact that they have shared material life with someone else and the difficulty of you know the separation of that that those assets if you like give me one more please oh okay yeah look deck split and we've got the star and the ten of cups and i shit you not because what did i just show you the star and the ten of cups the same two cards that's wild. I couldn't do that if I wanted to as a party trick. <laughs> and, uh, and I would want to. That would be pretty damn cool. But no, that would be great in Vegas. But anyway. Look, Wheel of Fortune, the Star, the Ten of Cups. This is all also talking about timing. Timing, timing, timing. The Star can be a delayed wish fulfillment. This is divine timing here that's happening. And we've got the Ten of Cups showing itself again. The, the I feel like the challenge here is that things may also need needed to have been brought into some sort of balance before there could be happiness and that could even be balance of 
uh, one situation coming to an end completely fairly before um, a new situation could fully manifest. But there's also a sense that someone is lost losing or has lost optimism or faith in where they feel drawn to, destined to the person that they feel like the universe is sending them towards, magnetically pulled towards that person. And but there is this feeling of loss of hope, maybe even loss of hope because of how long someone has been waiting. It it could even be that the challenge here is that someone feels like they've kept the other pe person waiting too long and what they they were dreaming of for the future is sl is slipping away from them. Um, now, what is the most likely action that this person is going to take towards you next, Sagittarius? We've got the King of Cups, Five of Swords and the Two of Cups. Now, the thing is, there's a lot of love here. We've got the Two of Cups again. This is how this person feels about you. And we've got the King of Cups. Um... Lots of water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be a water sign. This is just someone very much in tune with their feelings, really feeling the connection between the two of you very strongly. They are completely aware with the candles that are on top of his, uh, the character's head here on the King of, of Cups. He, this person is lit up with knowledge, with awareness of how much you mean to them and the strength of the connection between the two of you and their love for you. But they're not they're not saying anything. The Five of Swords. Now, it could be because this person is waiting on you. Sure. So they feel like there's nothing they can say. They feel defeated. So in terms of doing anything, this is not really doing anything. I have to be honest. This person feels like they love you. They have a connection, a very strong soul connection with you. But they feel like there's nothing they can do. They have to almost... I get the sense of let you go and see if you come back. And, you know, the kind of, if you love someone, let them go kind of thing. This is that. So why is the five of swords here, please? Why is this the person's action? Or if they were to communicate with you, it's almost like someone who, who goes to tell you how they feel and then they clam up and they go, oh, you know what? Don't worry about it kind of thing. It's, um, what that's why I mean, then, that, you know, they are feeling so drawn to tell you how they feel about you right now, but they feel like you're going to reject them. And I, I think when it comes to it, or, you know, that it's, it's not good enough, it's, or it's not the right time, or something like that. Why is the Five of Swords here with the action? Why the Five of Swords? Yeah, the Empress. I mean, she came out of, in reverse. Oh. Oh. The Lovers mm, and Death card. That's why. If... I'm just going to say it this way. If it's the other way around, Sadie, so just flip it. That if you are married, then they feel like they can't say anything until you've made the choice to end a situation, to go through that transformation because that's how they see you as well. Maybe they see that they want to ha that have that new beginning with you, but they need you to go through that transformation ending, uh, like release whatever it is, this toxic situation that you're stuck in, um, and to have this new beginning with them. So, and with the Empress in reverse, stop giving to a situation that you're already in, that you're maybe, that you're trying to um, carry the weight of a situation on your back. And with the lovers, I mean, this. This is to like this is can also be called the choice. That there's more love. I mean, it's so much love here that this person feels for you, but they feel like they have to hold back, and that it, the decision is yours. Yes, now I see. Sorry, it took me a little bit. It took me a little while to figure out what was going on there. So apologies, but yeah, this person is waiting on you, Saji, to make the choice, and to essentially they want you to have a tower moment. It, but not in like they as I said they're not wishing any ill will on you but they just want you to like get out of uh, a toxic situation that you're stuck in now what everything I described about how you feel could be about I think I said at the time about the person that you're actually with right now and you feel heartbroken because you feel like you want to go towards this person that you have a lot of feelings for them but 
you feel like you're constricted, that you're stuck, that you're you know trapped in a maybe a codependent situation with somebody else. So what is going to be happening between you and this person moving forward, Saji? I normally say the next 30 days, next month from when you come across this video. We've got the Ace of Swords with the Nine of Swords and the Sun. So it's interesting because <laughs> the Ace plus the Nine of Swords, we get the Ten of Swords. There is, what's happening here is that someone knows what has to end. And I feel like it's you, Saji. I feel like you're going to get the difficult realization i mean even this ace of swords in this card is pointed down through a skeleton it, you know it's it's also talking about but the little mouse if you see like standing on the i think it's the hilt of the sword has a like a little illuminated crown above his head so i feel like this knowledge is actually going to give you a sense of courage to take the action that you you need to take for the sake of your own happiness. Now, the Sun card is also, is very tied to the Death card. Both are depicting white horses and we have, of course, the Sun um, rising in the back of the Death card. So I feel like you know what needs to end and it's also because of the, you feel emboldened, if you like, by the possibility of a new dawn in your life that's going to be a lot happier that's gonna you know as I, I kept got that sense of sweet release and it's almost like with this um character on the sun this child on the sun card it's like you know a sense of freedom of um of enjoying life again because where you're at right now how you're feeling is really not enjoying life that is a really unhealthy combination of cards to feel and i'm not calling you unhealthy i'm calling the situation that you you seem to be in whoever this is resonating for so tell me anything else you want to add about what's going to be happening for saji and their person there's a truth here but i feel like it's a truth that you're acknowledging yourself and i got the sense at the beginning saji that you are going to be combining both the high priestess and the magician energies and it's causing a tower in your life. It's causing that moment of combustion. Um, but, you know, the tower fall when the tower falls, it's it needed to fall, you know? Anything else to add for Saji and what's going to be happening? Holy shit. Please tell me that got caught on camera. <laughs> Fucking hell. This reading is insane. It's the tower. That's what's going to be happening. I was literally just talking about the tower and I said sometimes the tower, you know, if it tower happens, it's because it needed to happen. There's the tower card. That's what's, and I said, clarify anything else, what's going to be happening. The Sagittarius moving forward. And this tower card is one of my favourites because although it depicts a tower in the background that is, yeah, it's crumbling, it's over. It's talking about something that you thought could never end it could never that could never happen because that just that's not okay kind of thing how would i live how would i survive but this person is actually standing outside of it a warrior stronger as a result and um yeah wow that's incredible and the thing is yeah at the bottom of the deck and, and you know not so that's such a firework card it's the page of pentacles but this is talking about that childlike um innocence and curiosity about life again it's like you're having a whole new start in your life as a result of this tower falling and it, it's going to be suddenly looking at the world with fresh eyes so well wow, that's crazy <laughs> oh saji i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much again for all your support and um, please do hit the like button for me on this video, just so that more people can see all the crazy shit that happened, because that would be great. But yeah, I wish you all my best. Speak to you soon. Bye.